Hi, so you read the title, right? I basically left my case management job after having a short stint on it to us. Uh, and I signed up with a recruitment agency for a travel nursing job here in Texas. So I'm not in New York right now. So first, uh, the reason why I resigned from my case manage act management job, I did really enjoy it. Uh, case management but I felt that it's still too early for me to be contained on a Monday to Friday 8 to 5 uh, p.m. job uh, it didn't give me actually the luxury of being able to compress my um, my work and have a long day up in between which you can only have if you will be working on uh, a 12 hour shift so typically like at the bedside you can request for to work on a sunday monday tuesday on your first week and then you'll be off after that and you can do you can do either to travel or you can pick up an extra shift which which will be very economical but uh we don't have that in case management but it's a good experience and it's something that i would probably consider again in the future if i want to like settle down and just have a stable job uh, that is actually related to nursing and is away from the bedside. But for now, I'm excited to venture to a different aspect of nursing here in the U.S., which is basically travel nursing. So for my very few followers who are uh, international nurses, Based on my simple or own understanding, travel nursing is basically um, whatever specialization you have, whether an ICU, in my case, I'm a medical surgical nurse. So I sign up with a recruitment agency and what is going to happen is that that agency will find me uh, a facility that would be outside my home which is in new york and i think the rule it should be like 100 miles away in general um it should be 100 miles away from your home base which in my case is in new york city so right now i'm here in texas which is basically more than 100 miles away from new york city but the reason why i chose texas is because i have uh, friends who are in the area so yes i am typically uh considered as a travel nurse but uh, I have like support system within the area. So why did I choose to do travel nursing? Well, one, I think I acquired enough experience here in the U.S. that I feel if you put me to a certain unit or facility, I can easily adjust and uh, do my job already without needing longer orientation or without needing longer uh, training as what is being required to be a traveler second to be honest it's more a practical reason during this pandemic a lot of uh, places in the u.s especially that those that have surged in covid they you know they offer better benefits for nurses to go to those areas and help them with their nursing shortage uh, issues or problem so those are the two major reasons why I want to consider travel nursing. Uh, secondary uh, reason is, of course, I want to, you know, to earn while I am in a new place, exploring a new place. So a lot of uh, nurses actually do that. Uh, they go to, for example, they go to California. So while they are exploring the place, they are not spending money as compared when you go there as uh, usual or the regular travel or tourist, it will be beneficial or economical if you will go there as a travel nurse where you will be working in one of those hospitals there's for a certain contract which is usually 13 weeks and on your day off you can explore the place and at the same time you'll earn more and you won't be spending uh, just touring around the area. So right now I'm going to show you uh, the room that I am renting. So if you are a traveler, one of those things that you will be, of course, needing is a place for you to stay 
on the area or place of your assignment. So there are different uh, ways to find uh, a place for you to stay. But it's not ideal for you to look or uh, apply for an apartment lease because you will only be in that area for a specific time, which in my case, it will be only for 13 weeks. I think I can extend, but the contract, the initial contract is only for 13 weeks. So uh, the apartment here in the United States, mostly when you like uh, apply for a lease, they don't come with anything. So meaning you need to have to provide the bed, uh, the sofa and everything. So it will just be like, it will be hard for you to move from one place to another if you have to carry all those things with you. So right now, I have actually a friend who offered her one of her a room in her uh, four-bedroom house. But as a courtesy, I actually would be sharing a certain amount monthly. Uh, although if this is my friend, even if uh, I'll do it with somebody who... I do not know there's a lot of um, actually people who are doing this especially if you are in an area where housing is really expensive so renting a room in a house is something that you can consider so let me show you around so this is basically the room that i am renting it's pretty decent so i have the bed those are my laptops it has a mirror here and then it has a closet here those would be my scrubs with my new facility and then I have my own uh, bathroom but it's outside the room let me show it to you So there you go with my new phase or chapter in my nursing career here in the U.S. I know there have been a lot since I came here in 2017. I will, you know, very amateurly try to do some blogs and videos just for you to at least give an idea if you are wanting to come here and work as a nurse and or for those who are already waiting for them to come here. I will try to, you know, do some videos with my travel assignments if I'm going to like pursue this for quite some time or if I'm going to venture again eventually to whatever field or area of nursing. So like and subscribe. I want. <laughs>